OpenAI has just released a $200 per month ChatGPT Pro plan, which allows you to be able to use their O1 Pro model. They've also released the full version of O1. Previously, we had the preview model. Now we have the ability to use the actual O1 model within ChatGPT. So for the $200 per month plan, just to um, reiterate, on the $200 per month plan, you get access to O1 Pro, which is the latest model. And if you pay $20 per month, you get access to the O1, which uses advanced reasoning. And this is going to be one of their best models. But of course, if you're on the $200 per month plan, that model is set to be a little bit better. So let's quickly go over the announcements. So the new O1 Pro model, it's actually not a new model, but an aggregation system. It uses consensus for multiple O1 responses. It shows the chain of thoughts. It shows the chain of thoughts reasoning as new canvas style interface and as detailed reasoning panels. So essentially the O1 Pro will allow you to be able to do just a little bit more nuanced task and more complex tasks. But I personally don't think that that's going to be useful for most of our use case, especially for SEO and um, sort of online publishing. Now, what I've done is I went ahead and used the O1 model and I found it to be really, really good. If you've used this before, this model actually takes a little bit of time to think. It doesn't give you the output right away, but this allows it to uh, be able to think before it actually executes the task, which allows you to get much better and much higher quality outputs. So for example, I included my prompts here, which is my SEO prompts. And I told the AI to write using these instructions. It thought about it for like a second and then it was able to summarize that information. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over some information about a new up-to-date mortgage information, and I'm going to write a full article. So I'm going to head back over to and use this information to write your own article. I went ahead and pasted in that content. So we've given it a fairly decent prompt. I don't think that this is very, very difficult. As you can see, it's crafting a unique article. It thought about the mortgage renewal for about six seconds. Again, previously, this would take us, you know, at least 50 to 20 seconds. So I'm very excited to see how this actually plays out using the API mode. Um, if we'll actually be able to get content a lot quicker because then we can use the um, O1 model. Currently, you know, I do like the 4.0 model, but I think the O1 is a lot better. As you can see here, we're able to get a lot more information. Uh, the content seems to be much more in-depth. And I want to see if it's actually going to follow the instructions for the word count. So this is a pretty good article here, I must say. Now let's go ahead and copy this over. I believe if I hit the top right there, I can see it in markdown format. In terms of word count, this is, wow, 2,200 words. That's really, really good. Usually the AI is not the best at um, following instructions and creating articles that I give you know specific word counts. So this is a very good sign. You know, we have some tables here, the current, mortgage climb, uh, rate climate in Canada. We have some tables. We have some content here. Wow, it's really good. I'm very impressed by this content. I believe this is probably the best article I got back using the ChatGPT interface, not using the API interface, um, with just a simple prompt. So definitely, definitely a big improvement. And again, it only took about six seconds to write that article. So I would highly recommend that you use the O1 model. If you already have ChatGPT+, Plus, it should already be there. Um, if you have very, very complex tasks to do, then maybe you can think about getting the $200 per month model. I don't think that's going to be for every person's use case. Um, I do think O1 is going to be more than enough for you, especially if you're writing articles and things of that nature. This would be a really, really good model. Now, I also believe O1 has the ability to create images. So let's go ahead and to, or to read images. But, you know, what I can also do here, because OpenAI is multi-model, I can tell it to create an image for this blog post cover, right? And then I can go ahead and create an image. I can use the code interpreter to then go ahead and tell it to, it actually went ahead and gave me a prompt. So then I can tell it to use this prompt to use Dolly 3 to create that image. But it's really cool that we have everything integrated into um, ChatGPT because you can do everything in ChatGPT. And the content quality is really, really good. I used to really like Claude. Um, but I would say that I think this model might be better. I will be doing a head-to-head -head comparison, but I really uh, am looking forward to using this a lot more. And I recommend that you guys check it out and let me know in the comments below 
your thoughts on this new model. So that's my quick update. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.